Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome to a brand new game that just came out March 26, 2021, developed by Pixel Hive and published by Sodesco or Sodesco. They're from the Netherlands. I'm not sure how to say it exactly. I love this screen. Winners eat all their veggies. Takes me back to the arcades that had screens similar to that. But yes, this is Kays and the Wild Masks. I am playing on the Switch, but it's also available on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Steam, and Stadia. And it's a 90s pixel art action platformer, kind of like Donkey Kong Country in a way. I haven't played it yet, this is going to be a totally blind Let's Play, and I may do a review afterwards. But yeah, they were kind enough to give me a code for it, so let's play it and see what it's all about. Let's see the audio options here, everything's maxed out, that's good. B and Y, it's all you need, that, that's very classic Donkey Kong Country. So we have a casual mode and original mode. Casual mode, extra hearts and checkpoints for those who enjoy a platform game but haven't played in a while. Well, let's do original mode. I haven't played a platformer since I think Ukulele in the Impossible Lair. Well, no. Crash Bandicoot. But anyway, I believe there's a cutscene now. So we'll learn about Kay's and her friend Hogo. That was some really cool music at the end there. But yeah, Hogo, something happened to him. Some crazy demon thing, I don't really know. I'm still kind of learning this, like I said, it's totally blind. Aside from the trailer and a few little gameplay snippets here and there that I saw. So this is the map screen. Cranky Carrots, looks like the first stage. Three things to collect. But yeah, see, very classic pixel art stuff. Let's see what it plays like. Run and jump. Or, I mean... Jump and attack is all we got. But that's all you need. Very nice, very smooth too. I just like that overlay, introing the stage. Doesn't seem like you can hold the button down to sprint though. But yeah, I know vegetables are the bad guys here. Some of your crazy mutant vegetables. Probably playing off the little rabbit theme. Yeah, oh, look at this. We got letters to collect, too. Spelling out K's very much. Once again, bringing up Donkey Kong Country. So if platformers are your thing... Oh, there's something down there, but there's something up there, too. Just so trained, you know, to always go the upper path. That's where the secrets tend to be. But not always. Sometimes they bury them by the pits. We'll go back and check it, but let's get this thing up here. Kind of like Dixie Kong with the, the bunny ears. It's like the hair twirl. Collect all the crystals, all right. Funky music. But yeah, the whole thing about this game, there's various masks to collect to help Kay's give her different abilities and stuff. So we'll play maybe through the whole first world here. Not sure yet, we'll see how it goes. But I do plan on doing a whole Let's Play of this. Seeing what it's about. There was a gem under this bridge. I wonder if I can get it. Yeah. 
I don't know how many of those we have to collect. They kind of seem superfluous to a degree, but we shall see. Okay, so any glowing things you see in the background, you can twirl to get more gems. I kind of wonder if we unlock a sprint ability at some point. That's the only thing, once again, going back to even Mario, not just Donkey Kong Country, I'm so used to whatever you use to jump, holding that down until you need it. Or to attack, rather. To make sure you're running at top speed, but this just seems to have one speed the whole way. There's the Z. Yeah, I could definitely see myself getting into this. And of course, this is stage one, so they gotta ease into it. I've been told that it's, despite maybe the cartoony look, second bonus room. Yeah, that it actually ramps up in difficulty. Defeat five enemies, all right. So it could have that Yoshi's Island effect where, you know, it starts off cute and easy, but then totally throws you for a challenge towards the end. Nice, we collected both of whatever that is. Yeah, everything feels very fluid. The scrolling, the physics, Kay's herself is pretty cool. It's all the letters. Gotta be close to the end, that means. Yeah, this looks like it. Okay, I see. Getting a hundred gives you a pink gem. No damage, level clear. Nice. So yeah, I think the story here is we're doing whatever we gotta do to defeat those demon gems that were shooting out of the castle in order to free Hogo. Looks like we collected everything. There's a new album thing. Let's see what that's all about. Ah, oh, some cool, uh... That's neat. Every level you get a new piece of artwork, so more incentive to collect the letters. Okay, and it's just messing with the controls and the audio options it looks like. Jelly Jungle! Some of the reviews I've read already have suggested that nothing about this gets stale really, like every stage throws a new thing at you to keep something new. Yeah, I love that overlay, I don't know. It has a very Sonic Mania vibe to it. The way the 1-2 just rolled in. Ooh, eggplants. I wonder if we're gonna have to bounce off of them to reach higher places. I see the K down there. Hang on. So yeah, Jelly. New mechanic already. Ukulele and the Impossible Lair did a very similar thing. Every stage of that game felt unique to all the others. Down and wide, that's what I was doing before. Okay. There doesn't seem to be an upward one, but again, we haven't even seen the masks yet. And I do know that the masks give you different abilities, so we'll see. Based on the title screen artwork, that's something down there, hang on. Already, I think we have an invisible wall here. Yeah. So really testing those 90s, sniffing out the secrets things. Cleverly hidden by foregrounds or whatever. Definitely very fun so far, I'm enjoying it. Curious to see what the first mask is gonna be though. Oh, I wasn't- I didn't even see that guy. I was busy looking at all the stuff. I lost my little red friend, whoever that was. So kind of like Crash Bandicoot, it's like when you have that little tiki guy, Wumba or whatever it was. If you take a hit, yeah, it's like a free hit. Otherwise it's death. Oh no! Okay, that's good to know. When you're bouncing off enemy's head, you can't twirl again.
At least. No, you can. Oh no, I hit the jelly though. I think you have to wait for the somersault animation to stop before you can, it seems. Second stage, first death, man. That was kind of clunky on my part though, but you gotta learn all the little tricks. Every game has something like that. Ninety-two. What did we need? A hundred? Well, there's something up here. You know there is. Yep, bonus room. I don't know, I'm getting a mixed vibe of all kinds of different games in here. Like the pixel art kind of reminds me of Celeste in a bit. In a way, rather. But then like the gameplay, like Adventure Island comes to mind. The D-pad on my Pro Controller did a diagonal down and made me do that. Blaming the controller, yeah. I just feel like this is a good fit on the Switch. So that's the platform that I most wanted to play it on. But I do wonder if it looks... I mean, it already looks great, but I wonder if it is any smoother on the other ones. On left. Ignore the arrows. Yep. There we go. Got all the letters. So that's another piece of artwork. Oh, and we're done. Didn't get no damage that time, though. I like how it's a footprint. I just noticed that. Oh, we still got all the things, though. I guess no damage is... Well, maybe there's something to unlock. I don't know. If you get no damage in every stage... See what new photo we got. I don't know what is that Hogo in all these things, little bunny? I don't know. I guess we'll find out as we go. Oh what? How do you get more green gems to enter this place? Is there more to do in these past levels? It didn't seem like I could go forward anymore. Unless I just missed it. Well, let's just try Jelly Jungle again. There, there is something. It looks like a clock, though. So maybe also very much like Crash Bandicoot, there might be a time trial with every level, too. Yeah. Seems to be. A minute, 15 seconds. All right, just go. It's a good test of... Is it designed to go on the first try, like everything tends to be? You know, just go and then react later, kind of. I mean, in these platformer games, usually it is that hesitation that kills you. No checkpoints either. Okay. Slight hesitation, but... Still got it. No masks yet, though. Perhaps the next stage will have one. Uh-oh. Time's getting close. All right, we don't have to go left this time, though. Just go. Did it. All right, barely. Three seconds to spare. Oh, I see. It's ranked. Gold, silver, and watermelon? Okay. No damage again. That was way easier that time around. I guess when you know what to expect. Pretty quick loads, too. Oh, you can't... I didn't realize that I could move forward. I could have sworn that I couldn't. I don't know. Maybe I just didn't press it right. Thorny tree. Get some rain going on. Pretty cool.
Always gotta check the left, you never know. Oh, that's neat that you can jump out of the log. Wait, is this a fake wall? No? Okay. A bazooka shooting... Was that a tomato? Oh, here we go. The bird or the falcon, whatever it is. Ow. Okay, so we got B and Y still. Anything else? Can we destroy these things now? Well, well what about this guy? Press Y to attack. Okay. Oh, wait. Hang on, man. I wasn't ready. Ah. So you gotta be exactly horizontal. Hang on. I just didn't understand. Testing it out. Playing like junk, but that's on me. Let's try this again. There we go. Yeah, nothing to it, really. This is kind of cool, actually. I like this. Oh, I see that A. You know what? Also, like I said before, it, it kind of reminds me of Adventure Island in a way. Yeah, you knew there was something to the left there. Like the various dinosaurs you would have to collect in the Adventure Island series. And each one did something a little bit different or whatever. I wonder if that bonus room always makes you the bird. Or if it just keeps what you go into the room as. Oh, look at this. We're in the brambles. Oh, man. I almost hit them, too. I wonder if they do... Surely they damage you. Oh, yep. That was unintentional, even though I was talking about it. Got it right back. Yeah, already this feels kind of like dodging vultures in Donkey Kong Country. Wait, can you go to the left up there? There might be something. Hang on, I want to check. Nah. Oh, man, I wasn't sure I was going to get by unscathed. Cool ambiance to this stage. I like it a lot. Then again, I tend to prefer rainy environments and stuff. Hmm. Okay, we can go up. I think we might have to and to dodge this thing. Oh man, almost didn't make it. Ah, whatever, he can live. Oh, we're there. Wait! Ah, oh, I should have kept going! We didn't get the second bonus. I wonder if it was above the goal. We could run into stuff like that, you never know. Well, we missed the green gem. Something tells me it was above the goal, but or maybe I missed it earlier and didn't realize. I like that stage, though. That was pretty cool. We do get a new picture, because that's the letters, not the green thing. <laughs> the face. So collected. Vine Climb. Oh yeah, in the trailer it shows her using her ears to grab onto vines, so I guess that's what we're about to do here. There's something to the left. Okay, how does this work though? Up. Oh. Pressing Y or whatever attack is on your controller makes you drop. Now we know. But you can jump, okay. Oh, yeah, there you go. Press Y to fall. And fall I did. Hey, grab the pot. Wait, can I hold it? Yes. 
That's a little nifty mechanic. Yeah, platformers are just good to sit back and get lost in. Anytime, really. Oh, there's something over there. Don't act like there isn't. Bonus room. The enemies keep seeming to drop actual vegetables, but I don't think you can collect them. Whoa, almost slipped. Yeah, I'm liking the music quite a bit, too. It's just crazy how many games exist these days. I mean, just browse any of the eShops and there's so much there that's hidden that you maybe would otherwise not really look twice because it's not, you know, like Nintendo or whoever. I missed a letter, though. Where was that? I think there's a nice sale on Steam right now to save like 10% or something on this game. If you want it to play on PC. Hmm, how do we get up there, I wonder? See, this is like situations like this make me question if you get other abilities at some point beyond just the masks. Or maybe there's a mask further ahead. Wait, I see that down there. See those split second glimpses you get. So, yeah, already we're only what? 1 4? 5? I don't know where we are. They're already starting to hide things a little bit more clever, cleverly. Is that one? Ah, no, it's, we're gonna run out of time. Oh, wow, you gotta get to the thing in time, too? Alright, just stick to the top. Got it. There we go. We missed the one last stage, but we got it this time. Now we just gotta beat it. Although we missed the A. What I like about this is it's never too hard to see what's going on. I mean, there was a time one of these green guys, I wasn't paying attention. But a lot of the modern platformers, they tend to put a lot of stuff in the foreground and a lot of flashy things. And sometimes it can be harder to understand what's going on. Oh, nuts. We don't need them all, just a hundred. So. Nothing past this one, it seems. Very nice. Where the heck was the A, man? I didn't see it for the life of me. It was probably right there, too. Well, I'll have to go back to that one at some point and get it. Lights on, lights off. Wow, we're already getting into that kind of stuff. Kind of a... Oil Drum Alley. Of DKC. 1-6. I'm just curious how many levels are in a world. Whoa, that would make sense. You can't, they're like clap traps. You can't twirl something with teeth. You gotta jump on it. Yeah, okay. See, they dropped little corns. Corn on the cobs. Oh, that's neat. Wait a minute. All right, well, you can't stomp them either. I just for a second thought that maybe turning the lights on revealed like the K or something. I gotta stop hesitating and second guessing myself. Oh, there's the K. Okay. Uh, okay, just enough time. You know they're gonna get faster though. 
like that one mine level in the first Donkey Kong Country. Visually, man, look at the background and the water. It's crazy. I'm just always blown away by everything these days. Ah, nuts. Get out of there. Jeez. I almost messed up. I mean, I did take a hit, but... Oh, they got one on the floor, too. Okay. I don't know what these guys are doing. You know what? I'm hitting this again. Good thing I did. I like stages like this. Stop and go station. Those guys even make almost the same noise as those Crusher things. Alright, we're gonna have to hit that again, definitely. Some mellow vibe. I probably should have timed that better. Okay, we're still good. That was accidental, but it worked. There we go. Another one barely saw it. Just kind of saw the glow of the white. This shouldn't be too bad, actually. Just gotta watch it. Eh, okay. Wait, did we find the first one? Nah, wh where was the first bonus room? Hmm. Whoa, no, hit that again. Man, that one's almost instantaneous. Yeah, I had a feeling that would happen. Probably should have let him pass first. Don't let him pass. Yeah. That was a cool level. I like that one. I like the mushrooms and the water and the music and the whole mechanic. So that was what, dash six? Are we to assume eight levels per world? That would be 90s classic action platformer. Let's see, well, new drawing, we missed the one. Whoa. Some big shark dude. Remember the 90s skate sharks? Bean Bay. Thought it was a bean boy for a minute. Maybe we get the shark mask here. That would make sense, wouldn't it? There's definitely something off to the left. Can you go in water safely? Oh yeah, okay. What can you do in the water? Jump and dive a little bit, it seems. Let's press Y to dive. Oh, okay. Ah, I wasn't looking. <laughs> What is that? Is that just a pea pod on a bean float? I was admiring your friend, sir. Excuse me. Wait a minute. Does that mean I don't have the K anymore? Uh, I don't see it on the screen. Okay. Yeah, I really like K's design. It's the... Bandana, the sneakers. Ah, uh, I hesitated. No. Like perhaps at first glance, you would kind of think of the Looney Tunes, Super Nintendo games and stuff, just because of Babs Bunny and Buster Bunny, was it? Yeah, Babs and Buster. 
I hesitated again. Oh, man. We were probably so close to a checkpoint, too. All right. Let's try it again. I'm already botching things up. Could be attributed to a slight boost in difficulty, but could I, I think it's mostly just me being dumb. This is only World 1, too. Wow, that guy almost got me again. There doesn't seem to be lives, though, which is nice. So, like, you don't have to worry about collecting a hundred of these for a one-up or anything. There we go. Oh, wait a minute. There it is. I like these little flashy animations. All right, what can this thing do? Ah, it's like a torpedo. Hold B to charge your laser, or to accelerate. Okay. I didn't even realize that was part of it. Training shark bonus, is that what we're about to see? Collect all the crystals? Yeah. Oh, I gotta look at the title screen again to see what other masks? I know there's more. It's all there on the the logo of the game. That was, that was number two again? What did I miss? A blue bandana now it changed to instead of her default red or pink, whatever it is. I see the K down there, or whatever it is. The A, rather. Haven't missed one of those. Hmm. Oh, here we go. I love this kind of stuff. I mean, you know me and water things. Usually people hate water levels, but I don't know. I just find something fun about them. And when you have a cool mechanic like this... bit tricky if you stop going for a minute whoa gotta okay yeah that's fun enough to be enjoyable like that's the kind of water thing I mean wait gotta keep your eyes peeled for something yeah I think once you're going and accelerating whoops I was busy looking for a bonus It really is when you stop, it might be hard to steer exactly where you want to go, but when you're going, it's super smooth. What a classic thing to do. Put put what you want right in the line of fire so you gotta kind of wait it out. That's only gonna get harder too, you know what it is. Very nice. I missed that first bonus room though. Gotta open my eyes better, maybe. Maybe it is that brightness factor of modern games that's kind of tricking you. And I'm totally not even realizing I'm passing these things. Oh, here we go, boss. Mother Mona. Real quick. Before that, let's see what we got here. Some tiger. Oh, yeah, there's a tiger mask. That would make sense. One would assume. But there's one more. I think a lizard? Well, let's see our first boss. And this will probably be a good place to stop after this. Mother Mona. Oh, it's these things. I 
wonder. The glowing gem seems to be the weak point. Oh, here we go. Oh, no, you're supposed to use the... Okay, I see it now after I take the hit. All right, one more hit and I'm dead, so gotta be careful. Very spore spawn like thing. Super Metroid going from green to this dead brown. Alright, watch the fire. Doesn't go away. We gotta go all the way up and be faster about it. Okay. Pretty lenient there. Starting to come out of the ground, it looks like. This makes me nervous. I don't like these little guys. I was expecting that to be harder, the final wave. Alright, last hit. Three hits, right? Or is it five? No, it's three. Nice. Oh, cool, we get a cutscene too. Mass happiness. What? <laughs> oh my gosh! Who the heck is that? Mother pigeon. No, it's an owl. I don't know what it is, but it's chunky and happy. And that's really all you need in life. Boss gem, yeah! So that's number one of whatever we need to do to free Hogo. Now what? Mother Pigeon takes us away. Whatever she is. Forgotten Grove. Okay. Frozen Mountains. Ah, oh, we're gonna get some ice physics next time. Alright. You know, off screen I might go collect those remaining things just so we could see what that one tile I needed six for was but anyway thanks for watching you guys and uh if you want it yourself it's on all the platforms right now so check it out it's pretty cool I'm enjoying it and uh, I'll see you for the next part take care